Wednesday morning, it's June 2nd, 2021. I'm Guy McPherson of Nature Bats Last. You can usually find Nature Bats Last at GuyMcPherson.com, but we're having some technical difficulties as we transition to a new and more secure platform. As a result, I'll try to include all of the information, the print information, I'll try to include links to those important papers in the description immediately below this video. And we're going to go back in time with the stories. The first one is from CBS News, May 29th, 2021. The headline is U.S. Braces for Extreme Weather Conditions Coast to Coast. And here's the lead. Americans nationwide are expected to face extreme weather conditions this Memorial Day weekend, which I realize is now behind us, with the South bracing for storms and the eastern U.S. experiencing unusually cold temperatures. Just another indication of the importance of anthropogenic climate change and one of its consequences, the polar vortex or meandering jet stream. Going back a day to a story at The Hill on May 28th, 2021, the headline reads, The Colorado River is facing an alarming water shortage for the first time ever. That sounds kind of important. And the key points are three. The story at a glance goes like this. Lake Mead, fed by the Colorado River, is experiencing declining water levels. Lake Mead is the reservoir that the hydroelectric power emanates from for places like Las Vegas, Nevada. The water has been this low only a handful of times since the Hoover Dam was constructed in the 1930s, but it was able to recover. In other words, Lake Mead, commonly known locally as Lake Mud, is a reservoir backed up by Hoover Dam. And third story at a glance tidbit, there are little signs of it recovering until at least the end of 2022. Regular viewers probably are aware that two important sources have pointed to an ice-free Arctic before the end of 2022. Those important sources are professors Jennifer McKinnon and James Anderson. McKinnon is at the Scripps Institution as, and also at the University of California, San Diego. And James Anderson is the Harvard professor who initially made the link between fluoro chlorofluorocarbons and the shrinking ozone hole over the Antarctic region. Okay. Now, I pointed out the work by McKinnon and Anderson in this space on YouTube with a video titled Edge of Extinction, Blue Ocean Event in 2022, and that was released on May 25th, 2021. So even if the blog is not up and running, you can track down the reports I've previously given on this topic. Finally, going back a full year to April 17th, 2020, in Scientific American, we have the headline reading, Climate change has helped fuel a mega drought in the Southwest. In other words, it's already underway. This mega drought is already underway. And here's the lead. A mega drought gripping the western United States is the worst one in 500 years. Additional information indicates it's the worst one in 1,200 years, not 500 years. It's the first to be influenced by human-caused climate change. Second paragraph, a study published this week in the journal Science investigates the occurrence of mega droughts in Western North America in the last 1,200 years. While a mega drought has no strict scientific definition, most studies classify them as severe droughts, typically lasting a couple of decades at least, longer than any drought event that occurred during the 20th century. And the peer-reviewed paper being pointed out there was published in Science, April 17th, 2020, by Park Williams and eight additional colleagues. It's titled, Large Contribution from Anthropogenic Warming to an Emerging North American Mega Drought. And the, under the headline, Key Trend of Warming and Drying, 
Global warming has pushed what would have been a moderate drought in southwestern North America into mega drought territory. In other words, it's already happening. We're in the midst of a mega drought. So that's an abundance of information. I recognize that. And uh, if you want to follow each of those papers for further information, just follow the information that is presented directly beneath the video here. And if we're lucky, also at NatureBatsLast, GuyMcPherson.com. Thanks for staying tuned to this channel for these, what I would consider very important science updates. We look forward to putting out another one within the next week or so. Thank you.